Brewers regular season games 90 through 95. The Brewers would lose 5 to 3 on July 6th against the Dodgers. Evan Phillips with the win, Brian Hudson with the loss, and Alex Vesio with the save. Will Smith's 15th home run of the year make it 2 to 1 Dodgers. Reese Hoskins will hit number 13 for the Brewers, making it 3 to 2. Yelich's double digit home run would tie it up at 3. Miguel Vargas' third home run would make it 4 to 3. Shohei Otani's 20th of the year would make it 5 to 3. Sunday, July 7th, the Brewers will win 9 2. Christian Yells will hit home run number 11, making it 2 0. Eric Haas' first home run as a Brewer will make it 4 0. Chris Taylor's third home run of the year will make it 4 2. Blake Perkins will hit home run number 6, making it 5 2. Tuesday, July 9th, the Brewers will get absolutely dominated by the Pirates 12 2. In that game, Brian Reynolds would add on home run number 17, making it 2 0. A Joey Bart Grand Slam will make it 8-2. Roddy Telez's 100th career home run will come off of Hobie Milner at American Family Field. Jack Sawinski's 9th of the year would make it 10-2. A two-run homer by Joshua Palacios making his 2nd of the year would make it 12-2. Wednesday, July 10th, the Brewers will win 9-0 against the Pirates. Reese Hoskins will hit home run number 14 making it 5-0. Willie Downs would also hit number 14 on a three-run homer, making it 9-0. Thursday, July 11th, the Brewers will get pretty much no hit until the seventh inning by Paul Skeens. The only run scored in that game was an RBI double by Yasmani Grandal. Friday, July 12th, the Brewers will lose 5-2 against the Nationals. To pretty much end out the week, Jesse Winker's 11th home run of the year would make it 4-2 Nationals. The Brewers go 2-4 in their last six games. The record is now 54-41. And the Brewers' respective Brewers Player of the Week goes to Christian Yelich.